Today, I'm following the daily routine of Robert Oppenheimer to find out how he became such a genius. First, Oppenheimer would start his day with a big old plate of nothing. This man was notorious for his diet of martinis, cigarettes, and coffee. But apparently, that was all he needed because then he would get straight to work. For his first order of business, he liked to spend the earliest hours of each day in deep thought and contemplation. But then, because he was involved in so many different things, he would usually end up spending most of his waking hours in meetings and working on the Manhattan Project. So yeah, he clearly grinded. But what really sets him apart is how he fills the rest of his day. So, after work, the father of the atomic bomb likes to get a little hike action in. And Oppenheimer was also a huge fan of reading. So I decided to crank an audiobook along the way. But then, I was a little bit surprised by Oppenheimer's favorite dinner choice. Indonesian nasi goreng. But it was what he needed before the most important part of his day. Just before bed. He'd make some time for family. But he loved working late into the night. So when I gave this a try and read one of his papers, I started to feel some of the genius rubbing off on Did me. the routine actually work?